Oh my goodness. I'm laughing because I just spoke to my guides and I said, okay, I, I did my meditation and I was ready to start the video. And I was like, okay, you guys, let's go. Let's have some fun. And my camera just turned on. Like I'm looking to see, did I press it? And I, did I press it? And it went on and I didn't know. And, and then I'm just like, no, there's no, there's no way. Look at this. Now it's great. Ah, hi, you guys. <laughs> Oh my, this is a general collective reading. Thank you all for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are always appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, this is a general energy check-in. Let's see what's going on with you. See what's going on inside of you. Um, just take a look at some areas, some aspects of your life. Uh, thank you all for your bookings, for keeping my ass busy. Thank you all for your good karma donations. Uh, the universe is not sleeping on you. You will be blessed. Uh, for those of you, that, like I said, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with everyone. It's not supposed to. That would be really weird. So... Take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Do not try to force things. It will only confuse you. And I don't want that. Spirit doesn't want that. This is about clarity, okay? So uh, feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is in my description box, okay? So let go. We have Ten of Cups. Now... You get Ten of Cups, you're like, okay, that's good, you know. But then I pulled some clarifying cards. And it was Mother in Reverse. Three of Fire. And Nine of Air. So somebody left something. A situation, a relationship. Someone could have walked away from their marriage. Mm -hmm. In the past, somebody decided that the person they were with was not the right match for them. You realized you weren't compatible with someone anymore. I feel like this person could have put on this. It's like they put on this front that they were a certain way. You know, they're responsible, nurturing, kind. Um, they want to grow something. They want a committed relationship. They're even stable, right? Mentally, emotionally. But you realize that that's not what really was going on. You decided to take a leap of faith. And you know what it is? In the past, you realize that it's like you saw the bigger picture of your life. And you were like, I don't want to end up with you. <laughs> That's what I see here. You started to get real with yourself. You started to figure out what it is you really want for your life, not what anybody is trying to influence you to do or be. And even though you don't know what's on the other side of this decision, this choice that you have made, you still know that it's the best thing to do for you. You walked away from someone. Or someone walked away from you. But whoever did the walking away, <laughs> good job. Good job. Okay, I feel like this was in the past. It could have been a situation where everything looked like it was great on the outside. But for majority of the time, you just felt like you didn't want to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. You want to see what else is out there. And it, it's this could also just be you maturing and you wanting something more, something different. I'm hearing something better. You know, you, that your beliefs, uh, uh, your truths have changed. You're looking at the bigger picture of things. You're opening up. A lot of you, because of the things that you've gone through, you're a different person. Your criteria for certain things like friendships and relationships have changed. Some of you, you got tired of dealing with someone's bullshit. 
Mm -hmm. The challenges they brought into your life all the time and you're just like, fuck it. I need to go and see what's out there for me. I need to go. I need to be happy too. I, I feel someone left. You had children or a child with this person and you left like you got up and you left. There's a feminine energy. You packed up your children and you left. Mm hmm. You started to realize what you wanted and what you didn't want. It's like you realized that you didn't want something to look good on the outside. You actually wanted it to be that way. Mm -hmm. It's not about how things look. It's about how they really are. In the past, someone realized that it would be wise for them to move forward in their life. Uh, to enjoy their life now. You're getting older. You want to see what's out there. Mm-hmm. Someone wants to explore who they are. That's what happened in the past. I feel like someone could have gotten to a relationship before they were ready as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mental, mentally, emotionally, uh, I'm strongly picking up emotionally. Uh, there was an instability there. Mm -hmm. Very, very insecure. Now, someone doesn't have any, I'm picking up two things here. So, someone doesn't have any options. This could be, oh, this is you. It's not that you don't have options, it's that you don't think that the options you have are any good. Mm -hmm. You also, for those of you, you know this already. And if you don't, now you know. This person is coming back. But you're done with them, right? Like, there's no reconciliation. They are not an option for you. That's a wrap. You have no desire for this person. And it's like it was your destiny to wrap this up. It's like wrapping up a cycle. Ten of Cups means cycle complete. So there's no going back there. You know this. I, I'm kind of concerned maybe this person doesn't realize that. Someone was very codependent. And it was a drag on your energy. But you have, when I say you're done with somebody, you're, that's a wrap, bitch. No, okay? You are not ever going to be an option for me. I would never, ever, 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 ever. Somebody is done with somebody. Mm -hmm. Collective, I feel like this is you. You're done with somebody. Mm -hmm. And you know that you made the right decision for you. You're transforming. right? Yeah, like I said, you're not the same person you were before when you were with this person. Right? You've matured some. In some areas. So it is just, it's a part of your destiny to move forward now. Mm -hmm. This is death and rebirth. Ten of cups. People who get to ten of cups, they've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. They've been through a lot. They didn't just get there. Blood, sweat and tears, time, energy, effort. Mm-hmm. It's time for a cycle to be done. And you know that. Now, like I said, if this person knows that, that's on them. I don't feel like they're... It's like they know it, but let me tell you why. You have five of swords, right? This person brought a lot of problems into your life. Mm -hmm. Adversary, conflict... Just op opposition. They were a motherfucking problem. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this person went out of their way to be a problem in your life. I'm hearing hindrance. Mm -hmm. It's like they fell on their own sword. Yeah? 
there's a saying if you're gonna dig a grave for someone dig two because karma's real you get what you give so don't think that you're gonna try to bury someone and not bury yourself too so this person is feeling defeated now because they tried to control the outcome of a relationship and because of that they lost it mm -hmm. they lost it Someone felt like they had a lot of options with you. Mm -hmm. And then they found out that their options weren't saying shit. So they want to come back around. But you're done because you're no one's option. Mm -hmm. Now this person's feeling defeated. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just a classic case of they fell on their own sword. The things that they, it's like the trap they set for you, they fell, fell into their own trap. That's why I say, just leave people alone. Be the, strive to be the best version of yourself because the same people that you meet on your way up is the same people that you can meet on your way down. It's the wheel of fortune. It's always turning. So just be a good person. But you go out of your way to cause problems and bring drama and stress into people's life. And you don't think that that's gonna, not going to come back on you? What are you? Are you fucking invincible? Like, I'm just saying it like it is. If you're a cross watcher and you're getting upset, I feel someone getting upset. I'm just, I got to be real with you. You can't be upset for, it's like you... You can't expect to stab people in their back and think that no one's going to stab you in yours. That's the energy that you're giving out. That's the that's your reality. You stab, they stab. That's what you created. You understand what I'm saying? So now someone's feeling defeated because they know they have no chance with you and they know it's all their fucking fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone had you in a place where you were just stuck in your head. Mm -hmm. You released somebody. Yeah. And they have been deflated. Yeah. Yes, they have. Because they know they will never have. Oh, you know what's so beautiful about this? Look at this. This is a major arcana card. This is union. This is you coming into union with yourself, right? Realizing that you don't need not one motherfucker. You good. All by yourself. Masculine and feminine energies balanced, moving harmoniously. And all that really means, that's a fancy way of saying, I'm cool, but I will give someone the smoke if they ask for it. Balance. Okay, you're doing things from the, the higher state, a higher state of being. You want what's good for you and you want good for others as well. But don't don't let a bitch think that they won't get the smoke. Okay, don't come try to take advantage. That's all you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. Balance. Oh, mm -hmm. But it's like someone feel, someone feels deflated and someone's been inflated. But no, it's not inflated. Spirit said it's um, uh, elevated. Someone's been deflated and someone's been elevated. Mm -hmm. My collective, you've been elevated. And it's because you know yourself and you have changed. You love yourself. Mm -hmm. You've healed from this. Mm -hmm. This person made you feel hopeless, powerless, uh, like you were in a nightmare. For some of you, mm -hmm. Nightmare on Elm Street. Hmm. Somebody around here watch Freddy Krueger or was somebody with Freddy Krueger? Because the way how you've said that, <laughs> you don't want not a nothing to do with this person. Okay, let me show you something. You have six of fire and that's in reverse, boom. Okay, and then you have desire. This is a major arcana. Like these, these desires change lives, right? That was in reverse, boo-boo. Okay? And then you have destiny. Mm -hmm. This cycle is over. Ten of cups means completion. There's no going back after that. You start all over again. 
Mm -hmm. It's your destiny to start fresh. But it's also your destiny to be done with this person. You know this. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, now you know. But someone fell on their own sword. Mm -hmm. And now they have been deflated. This person, the things that they did to you, it happened right back to them. Mm -hmm. But on the other end of that spectrum, because it's always a spectrum, balance. You're doing great. <laughs> You're in some of you have already moved on and you're about to be proposed to. Or someone wants to move in with you. Someone in this collective could be planning on buying a home. You're going to meet someone. Yeah, and you're going to end up buying your home with that person. Yes. Some of you pandemic made your person realize just how special your ass is. Mm -hmm. They're going to propose to you. Mm hmm marriage union love unconditional love someone in this collective knows that the person you're with now is a ride or die mm -hmm. but on the other end of the spectrum collective there is someone who feels like they lost their ride or die mm -hmm. they lost the love of their life and they didn't even recognize that until after the fact, right? You never know what you have until the well runs dry. I always say when you don't appreciate what you have, you lose it. Mm -hmm. And that's in all areas of your life. <coughs> Excuse me. I need some water. But collective... Whoever this message is for, I'm glad you've healed from this and you've moved on. Because this was no simple, you know, I'm upset for a couple months. Some of you, you were, it took you years to heal from this. Mm -hmm. To cut this, uh, some of you, you realized that the person you're with was a narcissist. I'm hearing sociopath. It wasn't no simple things that happened in the relationship or uh, during interaction with this person. Five of Swords, motherfucking problems. This person was brought problems into your life. Someone treated someone like they were an option. Hmm. My collective, you said, I think the fuck not. Hmm. You get what you give. Karma is real. I'm going to pull one last... One last card of guidance and advice from spirit. This is from the Whispers from Within Oracle deck. Collective, is this your reading? This is just a general... Oh, look at that. I'm going to pull another one. Okay. So, this is your inner child. So, for those of you that this resonates with, your inner child needs attention today. I feel like if you started to give yourself more options, you would be you would uh, be attracted to or manifest, bring in more better options. It's like you, you start seeing things from a different perspective, right? So your whole take on how you do things changes. Like, like I said, there was a, a maturing in this process with this person. That's why the cycle is over. You're not in the, at that level anymore. You're not at that stage anymore. You've grown now. You know what you want. You know what you don't want. You know, so spirit wants you to know that your inner child needs your attention today. When you feel good, solid, stable in yourself, you can move just like that. Mm -hmm. Develop a strong, nurturing, supportive relationship with your inner child. Okay, uh, I know that we are we are taught. It's like we're taught to be adults, <laughs> right? but you can never forget. You always have to have balance. You have to be able to. Um, experience joy and feel happiness and be curious and just want to grow and expand and be creative that's what we're here to do so doing those things allows you to tap into your inner child just following your passions uh, some of you a broken bond with a parent may need healing rekindling or exploring hmm. some of you uh, well all of you that have inner child issues that comes from um, upbringing environment mm -hmm. parenting styles 
for some of you, spirit wants you to seek a professional to help to heal childhood trauma. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to have more fun in life. Yes. Collective. Spirit wants you to continue to move forward mm -hmm. and create what feels good. You've healed from this. Okay? This is behind you. And you're not looking that way. So Spirit's like, do what feels good. Come up with a creative solution to a problem today. You learn how not to let people fuck with your shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you learn how not to let people interrupt your day or try to ruin your life. No, you give zero fucks, collective. Mm -hmm. And it's coming from a space of, I'm healed, I'm over this, and I'm good with me now. Mm -hmm. Some of you, Spirit, want you to take an artistic class. Express yourself. This has to. This connects with your inner child. Allowing yourself to just be just who you are. Do you know who you are? Do you remember? Bring your creative ideas to life by having the courage to share them with the world. Mm -hmm. You're a part of something bigger. And the only way you can do that, the only way you can expand is by sharing. Sharing of yourself, your energy, your time, your light. Light is information. Create what feels good in order to achieve success and to inspire others. They always say, if you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And collective spirit is speaking to you. When you love yourself, you do things that you love. Do you do things that make you feel good? Mm -hmm. You don't stay in relationships with people that treat you like you're an option because you love yourself and you know that you're someone's. If someone wants to be with you, you're their only choice. You're not someone's option. No. Right? You also don't take cups from people who don't have anything in them anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't take empty cups. You don't pour into people's cups anymore who are not pouring into yours. You've learned this cycle is over. Mm -hmm. Because this person's going to come back on the same bullshit. Mm -hmm. But this is over. So in this cycle of your life, this chapter, life is a canvas. Collective. Start painting. Have fun. Spirit said, always allow yourself to have more fun in life. Okay? So if this reading resonates with you, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you. Okay? Okay? Also, feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is in my description box. I'm going to be updating some information in my description box, but uh, you'll just you'll see it when it's done. Okay. So thank you all. As always, I am here to serve. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.